zero of Tracy, the seven of Lallier, green flag in the air, we are off. 25 laps of the Everett's Auto Parts Lay Models and Jerry DeGasperi Jr. is slow and he is stopped at the top of turn number two. Yellow flag is out for Jerry D. To download your application and apply today. Again, DAI Restore is hiring lead technicians now. DAILLC.com to download and fill out your application today and apply. Light is back out on the Bristol Toyota pace truck. And we're going to go back to green flag racing in just a moment. Once again, it'll be Lallier and Tracy. Jerry DeGasperi Jr. back on track at the end of the field. He will have to really carve his way through this field and see what he can salvage of a finish. Again, 25 laps still on the board as they roll out of the corner. Green flag is in the air, and they are back at it. Lallier with the sole lead, Belcher underneath Tracy for that second spot as he puts some pressure on the seven of Lallier rolling off turn number four. Down through one and two they go, single file on that bottom lane with Nathan Tracy to the outside of Hedges for that third position. Hedges gets a nose underneath the 35 of Belcher as they roll off turn number four. Down across the stripe, trouble on the front stretch. That is Tommy Adams, Bobby Tripp around. Trip slides right to the middle of the grass. Adams at the entrance of turn number one in the lawn. Gets it fired back up. Everything. Field rolls off turn number four. Here we go, green flag in the air, we're back underway. down off of turn number two as Belcher works that high side. Hedges sits right on his tail. Charlie Rose fourth on the grid. They roll off the floor. Hedges not making three right. Turn two back turn one. Richie Murray up to the outside there of Tracy for that fifth position looking to pull up on the outside of Charlie Rose. But the lead up front is still a battle. It's Chase Belcher getting that lap under his belt. But he has Tyler Lally right to the inside glue there with Josh Hedges putting pressure on. Thought about going three wide into three, backs out of it. Belcher has the advantage in that Everett's, hit lo Everett's auto parts machine as they roll into one. Down the corner and Belcher trying to shut the door on the seven. Lallier slides up, here comes Hedges. Down to the inside, he goes. Battle for the number two spot. They make a little bit of contact as Hedges gets over. Takes over the number two spot, then fills it down to the inside. Down the back they go. It's Charlie Rose down to the inside of Tyler Lallier for that third spot. Tracy takes over fifth as they roll off turn number four. Rose is going to close there for third. And they're single file now throughout your top ten as they roll through the corner. Here comes Hedges challenging for that lead right in the rear bumper of Chase Belcher coming off four. Hedges gets a little crossed up, gets a push off the corner. Hedges takes a look down low. Belcher shuts the door. Rose falls right into line as they come off in turn number two. Down into three and four they go. The youngster, Belcher, the former sports truck champion, leads the charge over Hedges. To find that balance between patience and pushing it, Josh Hedges is trying to find that right now. All over the rear bumper of Chase Belcher in that second position. Just can't seem to get underneath them. Belcher doing a great job of holding the speed and the bottom line, not allowing Hedges easy access. Just as I say that, nose underneath Belcher is the 29 of Hedges down the back, tries to pull up alongside. He does into three, side by side through the corner off a of four. Josh Hedges looking for his first day model win here at Seacon, looking for the lead. Hedges out by three hundredths of a second over Belcher that time across the strike. They race wheel to wheel at the top of the field. They roll off of turn number four. Charlie Rose makes it a three car fight at the top of the field. Down into one and two they go. Belcher continues the fight hard on the outside. Side by side now, three car battle for that lead. It's Hedges down to the bottom of Belcher. Hedges has a nose advantage coming off turn number four. Good run. He's about half a car length ahead now, but Belcher reels him back in through one and two. Side by side coming off two corner exit. It's all Hedges. Quarter entry, it's all Belcher. They're side by side through three and four off the corner. Hedges with a three-quarter length advantage. Belcher doing a great job. 
look at the battle for fourth. Richie Murray slides underneath. Tyler Lallier takes over the number four position. But to get to the front, he's got a half a straightaway disadvantage. Can he catch the top three? We are at the halfway point. Belcher continues to work that outside. Little contact back on the field between a Renegado and Urig. They're able to straighten it back out. And here comes Jerry D moving his way on up through the field after that beginning of the race mishap. Back up front, though, it's Hedges and Belcher. Still side-by-side -side with Charlie Rose laying in wait. Richie Murray able to start closing that gap in that fourth spot on third. Hedges and Belcher continue to swap the top position back and forth. Charlie Rose is right there waiting for a mistake to happen, waiting for a little bit of an opening. They roll off of turn number four, 12 laps remaining. Belcher throws it off hard and wide. They cross the stripe down into turn number one. Belcher evens up with Hedges as they head down the back straightaway. What a battle this is for the lead. As we only have a few laps to go across the stripe, Hedges with that advantage, he'll lead that lap of Belcher. Down the front straightaway, Renicato and Uri get together. And the caution flag comes out at lap number 19. I believe this is going to go back to 18. We do go back to the last completed green flag lap. And what a race at the front of the field. What do you think about that race between Josh Hedges and Chase Belcher? Still Toyota pace truck field pacing down the back. And let's get ready to rumble as they roll through three. 11 laps remain, Hedges and Belcher wind it up off of turn number four. Green flag is out, Hedges takes the advantage. They roll down into turn number one. Here comes the 35 back up on the outside as they hit turn number three. Belcher still working that outside lane. Contact there between Arenegato and Murray. Murray slowed up in the middle of the corner there. Must have got loose. Arenegato bumped him in the back, but they're both able to keep it going. That puts a bit of a gap in your top three. Hedges with the sole possession of the lead. Now it's Rose and Belcher for that second spot. Charlie Rose squeezes up and takes over the number two spot as they chase Josh Hedges down into turns three and four. Eight laps remaining this time. Across the stripe, Hedges has a two car length advantage. And he down into the down number one. Keep your eyes a little deeper in the pack. The battle from fifth on back. As they go three wide down the back straightaway, Degas Barry. Dives it underneath the 7 of Lalia, the 17 of Arenegato. Picks up both spots as he heads down into one. Big time rebound of a race for Jerry D. Had to drop to the back at the start of the race because of his issue. Now back up to fifth. A huge rebound for him. But back up front, your leader. A little contact back on the pack. Your leader is Josh Hedges. Three car lengths over Charlie Rose. A contact between him and Belcher as they race down the back. Here comes Murray to fill the hole in. The rookie in only his second late model race. Slides underneath Belcher looking for the number three position. He's got Degas Barry on his tail with five. Make that four laps to go as they head down off of four. Three, four, four more circuits to go. Across the stripe they go once again. Battle is on for that third spot. Richie Murray down to the bottom of Chase Belcher, and this would be a great finish for Murray if he can hold on. He looks to clear. Belcher can't quite do it. Belcher runs that outside lane pretty well as they come off a of turn number four. Now he clears them. Murray to third, and here comes Jerry D for fourth. Jerry throws it in hard deep sideways, and he goes around. Jerry D, who had worked himself up through the field, up into the fourth position, fifth position, going for fourth, has the back end snap out from underneath them as he threw it in. Hard and deep into the corner, and all that hard work just goes away just like that. Looking for the green, three laps remaining as they come off of turn number four, Hedges and Rose battling it down into turn number one. Hedges with a little bit of an advantage off of turn number two. Down the back they go into turn number three, Hedges and Rose to the outside as they race off the corner. Here comes Richie Murray sticking a nose underneath Rose. Three-car battle now for that lead as Rose drifts back. It's going to be side-by-side. -side. Murray and Rose down the back into turn number three. Murray looking for his runner-up position off of turn number four with one lap to go. Rose put up on the outside. Here comes the Renegado down on the inside as Hedges leads off of turn number two. Rose sideways down the back straightaway. Gathers it back in. Holds on as they hit three and four. Josh Hedges adds his name to the record books. Murray with a great run for second. Vinny Aranagato finishing third with Charlie Rose and Chase Belcher rounding out the top five.
How about that? A great run down all the way down to the finish. How about a round of applause? First time, late model feature winner, ladies and gentlemen, Josh Hedges. To congratulate Josh and Josh says, "Nope, I got the checker flag. I'll be back for you, kid." But here he is, our third place finisher, as he climbs out of the car. Vinny Aranagato, Vinny, a good run. It seemed this seemed to take a long time to get towards the front today. Yeah, I mean we're struggling with the car still. I mean it uh, just keep getting free off, and uh, we were on old tires, so that's uh, part of it. But um, just trying to manage it for later on down the road. Um, but, you know, we were able to salvage a third out of it, and uh, we'll just keep plugging away and, uh, you know, finish, keep finishing on the podium. That's a good night, I think. Salvaging. Some people to think that have been working hard for you. Yeah, I got to thank my crew for working hard on this thing. Um, you know, for friends helping me out and coming to help us out and uh, try to dial this thing in better. Uh, all my sponsors, McCabe Construction, Anubis, Sadow Excavation, Gerard Building, A1 Paving, East Bay Quality Hardwood Floor, Malik Slickers, s &R Plastering, Elmwood Dodge, Nacho Mamas, um, Navigant Credit Union, J&E Welding, um, Holmes Landscaping, you know, without all these sponsors here, you know, this wouldn't be, we wouldn't be here every Saturday night. Congratulations, a good third place finish. Vinny Renegato there, second place finish, not his first time on the podium, but the first time in a late model for Richie Murray. Richie. Welcome to uh, the podium in a late model. Uh, it's quite the welcome. Uh, um, first week wasn't, we had, we had a little, bu little bit of bumps, a little bit of kinks to work out, but tonight uh, I think we worked them out <laughs> and able to pull off a one-two finish for Hedges, for Hedges uh, HBM, or yeah. <laughs> a little lost for words. Tell, tell us about the race out there, some good tight racing. Yeah, um, to, I, I was just, ex I was coming into this expecting to take what was given to me and I'd, I got more than that. Uh, there was a lot of opportun opportunities that opened up and a lot of moves I was able to make to get second place. Second place, your second race in a lay model. I know you're feeling good. I know you got some people to thank. Oh, yeah, uh, plenty of people to thank. Uh, Jeremy from Hedges Excavating, Alan from Trucker and Auto Parts, uh, Rich Helger from Helga South Coast Power Equipment, um, Jim Hawkins just stopped on. Um, I got to thank Dad, Grandpa, um, Doug, who isn't here, but he's at his graduation for his son. He wasn't able to make it. He's probably not too happy about that, but um, AJ spotting for me, um, Crystal, uh, Ashley, Mom, Grandma, Meme, everyone that came out, thank you. Congratulations. A great, a great welcoming into the late models. Second place in his second race, and here he is climbing out of the car. First time in the Everton Park late models. How about a round of applause for Josh Hedges? Josh, congratulations. Welcome to Everett's Auto Parts, Victory Lane in the late models. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Man, I owe all of this to my guys, Kevin, Mark, my dad, Kim, my girlfriend, fiance, just everybody for busting their butts. We finally got this thing figured out. First few weeks this year, you were close. Top five runs, podium runs. Tonight, it just looked like it seemed that much better. Yeah, and I owe all this to Steve Blaze, man. He works his butt off on this thing. Um, I want to give a shout out to Chase too. That was a lot of fun racing with him. Good clean racing. Uh, just can't thank everybody enough. Hedges Excavating, uh, Jim Hawkins for coming on board tonight. Uh, Chuck and Auto Parts, Bay State Landscaping. Just everybody involved. Thank you to Seacock Speedway. And just everybody feels good. Congratulations. There's our top three for the Everett Auto Parts late models. Late mo ladies and gentlemen, third place to Vinnie Aranagato Jr. Second place to Richie Murray, and our winner. For the first time in the late models, Josh had